You know, I've been meaning to make a video about this. Um, this 2016 F-150 with a 2.7 EcoBoost does not have turbo lag. Now, when I say it does not have turbo lag, that's exactly what I mean. As soon as you step on the gas, the turbo comes on. Now, people tend to doubt that because when they drive the EcoBoost, you know, just say if somebody's riding like I'm, I'm riding along 40 miles per hour, and if I stomp the gas, there's some hesitation. People think that's turbo lag. That's not turbo lag. That is the computer holding back on power until it's sure you actually wants to go. And what I mean by that, I noticed when I drove, drive a track in a trailer, well, sometimes when you step on the gas, the turbo won't respond until like a second or two later. People think it's turbo lag. It's not turbo lag. It's the computer trying to save gas. Now, when I unhook the pressure hose from this 2.7, I drove it and I realized, that's when I realized the turbo was coming on all the time. Because when you unhook the turbo hose on here, it pulls off a lot slower. It pulls off with a lot less response than it does with the with the hose hooked up. Now, I'm getting ready to pull, pull off from my light. I'm gonna show y'all something. The light is out, so I'm waiting on cross traffic to figure it out and it's laid to turn. Thank you. Thank you. There's no turbo lag in the 2.7. When you step on the gas, the turbo comes on. Now, when you step hard, it may seem like it's turbo lag, but it's not. It's just the computer holds back on the power a little bit to save gas. Uh, I'm going to step on the gas again. My foot is off the gas. That hesitation was not turbo lag. It was not turbo lag. But also, the thing is, a lot of you people have never driven the EcoBoost and you basing it off on what somebody else say, you need to drive EcoBoost. You drive it, you'll understand how it works. There's no turbo lag, especially, especially like me. And another thing is this, a lot of you young guys have never driven old turbos. So you really don't know what turbo lag is. In the old days, you step on the gas, the car, the car will pull off like it's in the wrong gear. Then all of a sudden the turbo will kick in and it will haul ass. This Eagle Boost doesn't feel like it's in the wrong gear. It just feels a little soft. But again, that's not turbo, you know, turbo lag, that's not turbo lag. Guys, it's not turbo lag. Now I'm gonna take off again. I'm not gonna power break it. Now remember, this is a 4,000. I just stepped on the gas. This is a 4,000, 400 pound truck with a small 2.7 V6. If it didn't have boost, it would not pull off that hard, even in first gear. Dre, y'all have damn student driver on the turn. Hell, I don't even think it's a student driver, just a damn somebody driving a, a car that's a school. You know, something else I want to add, like right now my foot is down on the gas. I'm doing 40 miles per hour, it's in fifth gear. I just stepped on the gas. Look at the RPM. It's below 1500 RPM. If this engine has turbo lag pulling off, how is it able to ride down a highway in fifth gear 
turning less than 1500 RPM if it's got turbo lag. Now I'm gonna step on the gas a little bit. Yes, it downshift, but it, it is, it's just responsive. But if I went up a hill, I, lo I love it when I go up hills and it holds high gears like that still below 1400 RPM and the damn thing pulled. But right now I'm on level ground, so I can't really show you all that. But like I said, all you people think that EcoBoost have turbo lag, you need to drive one for your damn self. And like I said, especially if you used to drive an older turbocharged car, you realize this car does not have turbo lag.